हाँ जी हम स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं आज आपको बताएंगे कि वट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ परस्पेक्टिव व्यू परस्पेक्टिव व्यू वट इज परस्पेक्टिव परस्पेक्टिव का मतलब होता है द मीनिंग ऑफ परस्पेक्टिव इज दिस वर्ड केम फ्रॉम परसेप्शन मीन्स यू यू हैड सम विजन फॉर समथिंग विच इज विजिबल वट एवर परसेप्शन वट एवर यू थिंक अबाउट लाइक इट इज रिलेटेड टू सम विजुअल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज परसेप्शन लाइक परसेप्शन में भी एनी थिंग परसेप्शन मीन्स दैट दैट दीज पीपल आर पुअर परसेप्शन मीन्स दे आर ऑलवेज बैड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज परसेप्शन दिस this perspective view this perspective word came from that perception you know so in this view basically uh what we got it is that our if like uh, this is your ground line and there is a there is a plane which is called as Which is called as picture plane. This is called as picture plane. Whatever you had, which you want to make, which you need to, uh, which you need to find the perspective view of that object. We need to put that object behind this plane. It is not necessary that uh, you can always put the object behind this. But most of the time, we used to put. the object behind is we are we are seeing from the side view okay at this time in earlier days as you see that this could be you can say this is your first quadrant this is your second quadrant like we had uh uh you know this <clears throat> this could be uh you can say like we had a rectangular plate over here <coughs> like we had a rectangular plate over here like this you had a rectangular plate and this plate this plate is having some angle with the vp like you said earlier this is vp and hp hp and vp so here vp would be your uh vp would be your picture plane yes now vp would be your picture plane this is called as pp pp stands for picture plane pictorial plane picture plane okay this is called as picture plane now uh this is our object which we have put behind this picture plane and we are seeing from the side view we can't see what is the angle with this plate had with the picture plane it could be a perpendicular to the picture plane or it could have some angle like uh, like if if i would if i would try to make the top view of this of this picture plane like you had this is your picture plane you don't need to imagine this this uh, this is your pp and this this plate is somewhere around like this like if this is 1 2 3 4 then this would be 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 and this would be your 2 comma 4 are you able to understand the nearest uh, locations of this point are nearer to the pp we are seeing from the top view here we are seeing from the side view actually in earlier cases 
we used to project uh, the front view as in ortho our observer is always on orthogonal position here the difference is that our observer is not in this direction in this in this uh, orthogonal side our observer here would be at any location you could say you don't need to uh, you i am explaining you from the fr uh, side view and top view okay you need to make it understand i am talking about the side view and the top view so now like uh, in this cases we used to uh, the we used to call the observer as a symbolizes s okay so let's they they must give the distance of s from the picture plane like whatever the distance like this is be 40 behind 40 in front of the pp and which is uh, 40 in front of the pp and 60 mm like 60 mm above the 60 mm above the 60 mm above the ground plane above the ground plane this is called as the ground line gl and this is called as profile plane and this point where the s is observer is located is called as this plane is called as HL horizontal line you don't need to uh, mention this HL it's just obvious that it is a plane on which S is sitting now the problem is when you are seeing from the side view you can locate its location in front and above the whatever the location but if you see the top view like this so we need to locate its position in this direction also like in it it is i would i have said that this this uh, observer is basically 40 mm in front of like i am taking the lesser distance because of the space problem like this is 40 as you said this is 40 this is 40 and this is also 40 okay this is also 40 this is our our plate this plate is in the top view so we need to find out the central plane first of all you you see this this is the distance in front of the distance we can't see this distance because we are seeing from the top view we can't see the distance from this is the like this is your ground we can't see the ground distance from the from this side so we should uh, we should locate now the problem is this is the plate i'm seeing from the you just need to forget about this just uh, concentrate on the top view we just need to find out where there is s this is the plane and which s is lying and they said that it is 60 mm above but they don't tell you in which plane which side either from this side or this side or in the central line so they must have tell you the location of central plane it is the central plane that whatever the central plane this would be your center it could be anywhere like it could be on this side could be on this side okay this is the central plane on which s would lie now the position of s here is 40 mm in front of the vp 60 mm above the ground line we can't see the ground line here because this is side view this is top view 60 mm above and this lies on the s plane uh, central plane this is called as central plane Okay, this is the explanation of 
perspective view perspective we need to find out the image which image like if you if you join the all all the points like this like uh, we are we used to join like this if we if we join all these points like this so basically we need to find out what image is generated on the picture plane if our observer is there like if you say for the for the side view we can't we, we need to find out whatever what we are seeing here we can't imagine what would be uh, the shape what we are getting over here but we had some methods to find out the shape over here and there are two methods for finding out this shape whatever we are getting here same thing we are getting here i'm just uh, joining the rays so that you can understand in the top view also this is your this is your what this is your top view this is your top view so what you are seeing from the side view this is your what you are seeing from the top this is the explanation of uh, perspective view or perspective projections and i am telling you in the next slide how do we calculate these views okay and i am explaining you with the help of uh, this plate only i'm um, then i will move to the assignment question i am just using this uh, this plate uh, i am taking some dimension of this plate and then i will explain you how we get the shape of this plate okay